I want to, I don't want you to take for granted that your being here is important to each individual being here. Do not take for granted that it is a part of a collective. Um, play something for me. I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt a song for you that is very personal to me. But before I do that, I want to, I want to remind you that part of that inspiration comes from people like T.S. Eliot. It also comes from people like Maya Angelou, a linguist, Langston Hughes, Ludwig van Beethoven. Is that, you ain't know I can say that, right? I didn't either. Ludwig Beethoven. I learned that backstage just before. <laughs> just before I came out, these people were brave enough to stand on the stage of life and hope to bring the world closer together with their words, with their art. Um, bring the lights down. Um, I was fortunate enough, my mentor was the manager Finus Henderson the second. Do we have Finus's picture or is, are we done with the, are we done? Um, he was the one time manager to, to Sammy Davis Jr. Yes, and he taught me, that's my father. He is the man I wanna be when I grow up. He was one of the first black Marines and he was just a straight ahead cat filled with love and generosity. He is why I'm here. Who got their phone on playing the blues? Don't <laughs> I want to remember in this moment with you how I got here, why I'm here with you, what made that possible. I was, I am a veteran of the United States Navy. Yes. I was, stationed, I was stationed in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, right across from the Arizona Memorial. And every morning, I was reminded, every morning we would muster, I would see it, and I was reminded of the huge exercise in democracy that is America. And I'm so, I just can't even tell you how awesome it is to be here in the, in the middle of this floor with the world around me. You know what I mean? When I did my first Broadway show, Black and Blue, I was on the stage with men. These men at the Arizona Memorial made the ultimate sacrifice for an idea that is democracy. And uh, on Broadway, I was on stage with 70, 60 and 70 year old men that was kicking me upside my head with rhythm, giving me a, the best whooping I ever had every night their sacrifice for American art. This song I want to do for you right now, Sammy Davis Jr. had a hard time doing it because he did not want to be forgotten. You here at Sipsy right now will not be forgotten for your courage to stand together in whatever idea that is motivating you to be here. This song, I'd like to do, attempt, and think about my father, and dedicate it to you. <laughs> 